Uh, hello and welcome to the medical laboratory talk show which is basically a tv channel i want to take this chance to welcome everyone uh, to this very informative channel that it's going to be uh, it's going to be a first uh, channel uh, that is uh, that is going to be dedicated to uh, enlightening the general public on the medical laboratory services uh, that are available in kenya right now uh, and uh, where to get your medical laboratory uh, solutions you know uh, many a times uh, uh, a number of us have been unwell sent to the hospital and sent to the laboratory we don't even know what happens you just know your blood is taken uh, maybe you're sent for some urine sample some stool sample uh, you don't know what test you try asking around uh, you test you know uh, you don't have the right answers go back to your doctor and they are, they don't explain really uh, what the reason why they've done the test what the test uh, result means you know you just given drugs and you go home so this is uh, just your channel that is going to discuss all these issues and we are going also to discuss uh, the training um, the qualifications the registration, the licensing of laboratory, medical laboratory uh, personnel in Kenya as it stands today. Uh, I know it's a, it's, it's, it's a very wide topic, so it's going to be a series. Welcome to, I want to take this chance to welcome all of you to the very first uh, episode of this, of so many of these episodes that will come. We are also going to discuss your tests uh, at the very advanced stages of this talk so uh for those who have not hit the subscribe button kindly subscribe and uh, put a notification so that uh, each time i uh, we upload a new videos to uh, this channel you're able to to watch so uh first things first uh how is uh, uh the healthcare system in kenya organized uh if i delve into this a bit the healthcare system uh, in Kenya, the hospital kind of system, is organized into levels. We have level 1 hospitals, level 2, level 3, level 4, level 5, and level 6. Now, uh, most of us have been to dispensaries, which are basically the level 1 hospitals uh, that provide uh, just the basic, uh, the basic healthcare services, the treatment of basic ailments, uh, then now from the dispensary, we have uh, the health centers, which are also, again, largely basic. They might be having a feature or two. Uh, usually, the classification depends on the, uh, the, the vast of services that are provided in this uh, hospital. Uh, for example, you go to the level one and level two, uh, most level one, level ones, actually, the dispensaries. Most of them do not have laboratory, so uh, in many a times you'll find them doing just clinical treatment. So you come to the hospital and you got a headache, and the doctor thinks that you maybe have malaria. For those that are for those from counties in Nyanza in the malaria endemic zones, you might be treated clinically for most of the ailments without really investigating uh, the cost. Uh, the, co the, the, the cause of, of your illness. Now, when we move to the health centers, the health centers might be having laboratories uh, and uh, the laboratories will be basic kind of, uh, doing just the basic routine tests that uh, we all know, the urinalysis, the malaria, the HB, uh, VDRL. Sometimes I would call them strip tests. We will uh, understand these tests as time goes, uh, but they, they they provide just basic laboratory services. In other words, if you are having a, a complicated kind of uh, ailment that requires uh, extensive investigations, you might not really get help from uh, a health center, despite the fact that they might be having laboratories. Now, when it comes to radiology services, uh, they won't be available at the at both level one and level two. Those are the dispensaries and the health centers. It's not uh, possible that you'll find uh, 
uh, a radiology department for the x-ray for the ultrasounds for the ct scans and the mris we have very very advanced uh, investigative services i'd call them diagnosis so um the other level is level three which uh, basically uh, entails all the sub-county hospitals in most of our counties i think we've seen them and they're the most common uh, kind of uh, places where we seek treatments when we get unwell uh, sub-county hospitals or level three hospitals uh, provide uh, also generally just basic uh, healthcare services treatment and diagnosis they might be having expensive labs a uh, small radiology department that might just have an x-ray or an, and an ultrasound uh, but those that the, the, these departments generally do not do um, advanced diagnostic procedures so for example for the lab uh, the, the tests will be still routine and basic uh, just expanded uh, the scope is what is expanded and uh, if you have an imaging department also uh, this will also be just be generally basic uh, and uh, might not be able to do much uh, from the sub county hospitals we go to the county hospitals or the we have county hospitals and county referral hospitals i don't know whether they're classified under different departments but these ones are more advanced uh, they are full capacity hospitals most of them with inpatients and out accepting inpatients and outpatients um, also with uh, 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 doctors sometimes even specialists uh, or not even sometimes most of the time with specialists though uh, they might have a limited number of specialists who come uh, uh, on designated days of the week for example um there's just one thing i haven't mentioned when i talked about the level one the dispensaries the health centers the sub-county hospitals now when you go to the health center you will not have inpatient services uh, you might have day day care day services for uh, mothers who are who are giving birth uh, maternity services just the, the, the day uh, in some health centers, established ones, you might have 24-hour maternity services. We have quite a number. Uh, then the sub-county hospitals will also have 24-hour maternity services and sometimes uh, inpatient, general inpatient services for um, both men and women, depending on the setup and the location. In the other centers, the sub-county hospitals will be having... Uh, uh, most of them will be having inpatient capacities. Uh, in the rural areas, the sub-county hospitals uh, will be having basic uh, inpatient facilities and most of the time just for maternity uh, services. So uh, from the county hospital, the, the county referral hospitals, now we have the level five and the level six, which are basically the teaching and referral hospitals. Uh, which are very vast. They do a lot, a lot, a lot of things. The ones that they, they do uh, uh, the, 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 from simple surgeries to very complicated ones. They have uh, very established uh, laboratories, uh, very established uh, radiology departments that uh, provide services uh, in these kinds of hospitals. A very good example that we have are the Jaramogi in Kisumu. Uh, we also have MTRH in uh, Eldoret. We have KU in uh, Nairobi, Kamkiambu, somewhere about. Uh, we have KNH. So these are the biggest referral uh, hospitals that we have. Apart from these, we have a host of other small uh, hospitals. I don't know whether we will classify them because a number of them are public. I don't know how we can be able to classify them, but we also have. Uh, other smaller facilities that we can be able to, um, to, to, to to put up. We have medical centers that are privately owned. We have private hospitals, some established, some small, uh, that uh, it's you uh, who will uh, get to know where they fall. Uh, now, when it comes to personnel, because this is a, a talk that is going to dwell about medical laboratory and largely 
the personnel that are involved in, uh, in in this profession in this in medical di diagnosis i would like to as i would like to take you through uh, the cadres of healthcare uh, personnel that we have in kenya per level so i'll start from the dispensaries now in the dispensaries most of the time you'll find nurses you'll find nurses and sometimes clinical officers in the very busy ones for those that have laboratories, you have laboratory technologists. So uh, nurses are trained uh, at diploma level, at degree level, and uh, specialist levels. But in dispensaries, most of the time, you'll find uh, general nurses who are trained, who are having diplomas, managing the facility. And uh, even the clinical officers, if available, will be just general, uh, not specially trained laboratory technologist the same so uh, nurses have been trained to uh, take care of patients uh, they can be able to uh, diagnose they can be able to uh, assist mothers in labor uh, same as as well as clinical officers if you're having a medical laboratory technologist or technician or officer on the ground then they're also basically trained they cannot be able to do certain uh, clinical uh, procedures but they are adequately trained to handle uh, each and every uh, procedure uh, that might come at that level those are the basic procedures now in um, health centers most of the time you'll find a number of clinical officers uh, sometimes with a medical officer as an in charge overseeing every process so you come to the hospital you this probability that you find a doctor or a clinical officer in the consultation room uh, you go to the maternity section you'll find a medical officer or a midwife overseeing the the, 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 the maternity section of the of the setup uh, in the sub county hospitals you will also find the medical officers the clinical officers the laboratory technologists now there is a, a cadre that cuts across these three levels uh, and uh, the, these are the public health hospitals. It's not easy that you lack one. Uh, you might find a pharmaceutical technologist in level one, level two and level three. Uh, but uh, the services that are provided by pharmaceutical officers are the same. So the, these services can also be provided by um, the clinical officers or the nurses. They can be able to dispense drugs and uh, literally uh, just manage the the pharmacies in these uh, hospital setups. Now, in refer in in county referral hospitals and in county hospitals, we have several doctors, and uh, a number of times we have specialists who oversee different departments in the hospital. Hospitals are composed of different departments that do different things. You will have the outpatient departments, you, you have the inpatient section that has different sections from the male ward to the female ward to the paternity to the children's ward. And uh, these are departments. We will have the pharmacy department as an independent department. We will have an engineering department that basically does the maintenance of every hospital equipment that is available and basic uh, repairs. Um, we have the, uh, the administration, which uh, usually uh, is composed of administrators. Some might be healthcare workers, others might, might not be. Now, in uh, the National Referral Hospital, the ones I talked about, the MTRH, the KU, uh, KNH, and certain uh, very big county referral, teaching and referral hospitals like Coast General and JOTRH in Kisumu, uh, you will have very very established sub departments within a department so um, usually normally uh, typically in kenya we have specialist doctors and specialist doctors have been trained just beyond the basic degree in medicine and surgery so they review cases that are special to whatever they've specialized on but for example we have gynecologists uh, who uh, uh, I, let, let me not get into that today. Uh, we have pathologists, uh, we have oncologists, uh, we have nephrologists, 
we have neurologists, we have cardiologists, we have physicians, um, and so many specialist doctors. So uh, in the, you'll find them most of the time in level six and level five hospitals, and sometimes some of the level fours, even though they are few. Now we also have dentists and dental staff, which uh, is basically who are basically uh, can be classified into two. We have the dentists who have uh, done degrees. They are made, they're, they're basically doctors who are dentists uh, who have done degrees in dental in den, in dentistry or dental uh, sometimes dental surgery. We also have dental technologists who have done uh, the basic uh, training in uh, dental technology. So they usually uh, oversee the dental services sometimes in the smaller hospitals like the level two, three and sometimes four that we might visit. We have pharmacists who oversee services in pharmacy. Um, they just generally they're the ones who foresee how drugs are dispensed and how drugs are managed and what cases require what drugs in uh, most of the setups that we have, if we have them. You will not have a dentist in uh, level one, level two, and sometimes level three hospitals, but in, from level four and above, you'll have a pharmacist. Pharmaceutical technologists oversee uh, these same things. They've been trained in diploma. They oversee these things in the level one, the level two, and level three uh, hospitals. We have clinical officers who are generally, uh, recently they want to be called uh, assistant physicians yeah uh, they've been trained in uh, clinical medicine in surgery sometimes in community health and some of them have specialized into anesthesia into uh, pediatrics and they, they, there's so many sub specialties that have come up in clinical medicine initially uh, clinical medicine was uh, studied as a at a basic level of uh, diploma and then they specialized at a higher diploma. But currently we have a degree in clinical medicine and they also specialized, they, they also have some specialists. We have nurses who are the most common uh, officers that we will be having in most of our hospitals. You will not uh, lack a nurse across each and every hospital level that I've talked about. So uh, they, they've been trained, uh, adequately trained to handle uh, uh, patients at different uh, levels. We also have some specialists, uh, like um, we have oncology nurses, we have uh, theater nurses, we have uh, accident and casualty kind of nurses. They've been trained to handle emergencies. Uh, the other kind are the lights and the radiographers uh, who oversee, uh, who do for us the X ray. Um, the CT scans, the MRIs, uh, and then we also have the sonographers who oversee the ultrasound. Yeah, yeah. Then we also have the radiologists who review images before and report images before they're released from a radiology uh, department. Then we have laboratory personnel, which will be our center of focus in this channel. Now, medical laboratory technologies can be classified into three levels. Now, one, we have lab medical laboratory technicians. Now, this is a cadre that is generally becoming uh, phased out because we no longer have training and certificate in medical laboratory sciences. So to all students out there, if you got admission into studying certificate in medical laboratory sciences, you might uh, want to think twice. Uh, go and consult KMLTTB if it is okay if you do that because as per what I know right now, um, medical laboratory uh, technicians course, that is a certificate level, is phased out. So we, they are, we, we are most institutions, actually all institutions are no longer training technicians in medical laboratory. So if you find a few in hospital, they'll be based in the lab. We are having medical laboratory technologists who are trained with a diploma and higher diplomas in a medical laboratory. These people do a lot of things and we will come to, to dwell on this conversation. What do they do? Because uh, it's, this is a profession that is really, really, really understood. And uh, <laughs> can you have a hospital without a lab? 
I mean, a referral hospital without a laboratory, I don't think so. And these are people sometimes we rarely, rarely interact with, even when we go to the hospitals. In the lab, we also have medical laboratory officers who are trained at degree level. Uh, uh, a number of universities are offering a degree in medical lab from KUUN, uh, the Technical University of Kenya, uh, Baraton, and so many others that we will list at a later stage, uh, at a later episode. So, uh, after that, we have medical laboratory specialists who handle different benches. Now, after you follow up on these conversations extensively, you will understand that in a medical laboratory, is not just a laboratory. So we have benches or we have sections. So we also have medical laboratory specialists in uh, our hospitals. Now, you will find a technician and a technologist in level one, level two, level three hospital. You might not find a medical laboratory specialist in those levels. You might not. But in the higher uh, hospital setups like level 4, level 5, and level 6, you'll find uh, laboratory uh, specialists. Now, we also have medical engineers that uh, assist the hospitals in managing their machines just to make the systems work. Uh, they oversee uh, the supply and electricity. Uh, if there's a technical fault, they come in. If there's a machine that is breaking down, a number of them have been trained. They're engineers, actually. Uh, to uh, diagnose and uh, come up with corrective actions for those machinery that we use in hospitals. Now we have public health hospital officers, we have uh, community oral health officers, we have social workers in hospitals, and then I don't want to forget uh, key cadres. We also have cleaners, we have security. These are very core. Uh, personnel that we have in our hospitals because when you go to the hospital most of the time the first person you land uh, on is a security guy and then from security uh, the environment is clean we can't uh, just afford to uh, declassify them to take them out of this conversation so as i said early before this is just the first episode of the many episodes that will be coming to you once or twice a week uh, so, uh, if you haven't sub subscribed, uh, please uh, subscribe and put uh, a notification uh, for every new video that we're going to be having on this channel. Uh, in the comment section, engage me on which aspects of medical laboratory you want highlighted and how this first episode was for you. Uh, this will mark the end of our first, very first episode. I was your lab, lab, medical laboratory doctor, uh, Isaac. Uh, Isaac. So uh, see you in our next video. And if you haven't subscribed, sub subscribe, like, share, and put a notification button. Uh, I would like to have many of you as much as possible uh, so that we can be able to drive uh, this agenda. So uh, that will be the end. Until next time, see you.